Hi guys, on this one we've got a um, Valiant Turbo Max 242 combination boiler um, which is developed a fault. Um, there's no hot water uh, as there's a problem with the diverter valve. Just give you a demonstration here. Turn the water on here and this little arm diverter, um, diverter valve arm is not moving. More than likely it's a diaphragm problem. So what I've done, I've ordered a repair kit um, off the internet and I've removed the diverter. There you can see it here. Here it comes with um, seals, um, diverter spindle and um, uh, a diaphragm. I uh, bought it off the internet and I'm just fitting the parts now. Here's the old and new, old at the top, um, bottom, new at the top. And here I'm just removing the diaphragm. This was the actual cause. As you can see here. And as you can see here, the diaphragm's perforated, it's collapsed, and that's why there's no heat. It's not working at all because it's uh, damaged. Fortunately, there's a new one in the kit. And um, I'm just fitting the fitted all the seals and the valve this spindle now I'm just fitting the um, diaphragm unfortunately I didn't notice that there's a hole there's supposed to be a hole in the diaphragm here let's water through I'll get to that later so I'm just reassembling the um, diverter valve once I've fitted all the parts and I've, um, I've had to remove the bottom of the diverter valve just to show you what the problem is. Um, it wasn't working correctly because this rubber um, part on the diaphragm was not punched out, which is stopping the circulation. That's the part there. So, I've, like I said, I've removed the bottom of the diverter valve instead of removing the whole thing. And uh, that's the bottom of the direct First of all, I'm just cleaning it out, make sure there's no obstructions in the entrances and exits. And uh, here I'm just fitting the uh, diaphragm. You can fit this diaphragm, diaphragm without removing the hold um, diverter valve. And I'll just show you where the hole was blocked before, just on the end here, which stopped the water from circulating. But as as you can see, I've uh, I've just popped it out, so I'm just going to refit the. Um, the base of the diverter valve with the gasket with the diaphragm in place just going to put a couple of screws just to help me line it up a bit fiddly but um, it saves removing the whole diverter valve so I'm just going to put put a couple of screws in loose just to make sure I've got it straight and then I should be able to just push that home just make sure it's fitted correctly and the diaphragm is not trapped. So once that's um, fitted home, I'll tighten the screws up. And I'll just use my inspection mirror just to check around the sides just to make sure everything's seated correctly. And now that that's done, I'll refit the heat exchange which I removed. And now that all that's done, I've um, repressurized the system and bled it from air and all the water's turned back on. And just give you a demonstration. Turn the water on. You'll see the little arm move down there, triggering the micro switch. The water's nice and hot.
and when I shut the water off you'll see the little diverter valve arm move back up working perfect and that concludes once again thanks for watching and please subscribe